All right. It's Brennan. I've had a lot of people on YouTube ask me how to make custom backgrounds. And it's not hard. You have to make an image that's width 400, height 208 pixels. And press OK. And we'll go and make a new one. File. Oops, I'm sorry. By 208. And I'll just do a color, it doesn't matter. I'll just do white. I'm going to text. I'm just going to do a simple one. Nothing big. You can figure the rest out later. Um, just something simple. Just line it up, whatever, make your image. And then save it to whatever you want. Save as, let's see. Let's save it as do.jpg. I'm not going to put jpg because I'm going to have Photoshop do it. And I'm going to save it. I'm going to go to my computer. I already have my sidekick plugged in, and it's set as the G drive right now. I'm going to remove removable disk, G drive. I'm going to go into my themes, and I'm going to put it on Love is Poison theme. Click it. I'm just going to add it in here. Press OK. It's going to save it. OK, now I'm going to go here. This is my Love is Poison theme folder. Okay, see how 1.jpg right here has the background. Okay, see this? It's called theme.txt. I'm going to open it up and it's going to say string name, theme name usually, bitmap, ring. You're not going to mess with those. Okay, you are going to see bitmap, ring, folder, background. Okay. That's when you go, let's say, you click on instant messages and it goes to the second thing and it has the two options, picture messages or text messages. That's your second background. Your first background is going to be, it's going to be bitmap ring background 1.jpg or whatever JPG it is. You're going to go in here, erase that, and I named mine do.jpg. Then you go to File, Save. And then, now, this theme will use the background I created. It is that simple. It's easy. Now, if you're just going to make your own theme and you still want, and you want to use like the basic, um, everything else basic on the Sidekick LX and everything, what you're going to do is you're going to open up a document and you're gonna put number sign the theme name another number sign string name and then space you're gonna put the theme name just say like um, random picture whatever you want whatever picture it is whatever background picture and then the only thing you're gonna put is bitmap bit map space ring dash which is like minus sign I don't know what you call it I just call it a dash background and then space and then the name dot jpg or png whatever you saved it as it's that easy and then you're just going to go file save theme dot txt and then you're going to go into your themes you're going to create a folder name it whatever you want it doesn't matter and then you're going to drop that themes.txt in there and you're going to drop your image that you want in there and that is just a custom background no ring edits no other images in it that is the easiest way and the fastest way 
to make a sidekick background. It's easy. Once you learn how to do it, you'll be able to do it in seconds. Nothing hard about it. Okay?